everyone so today I'm going to be making a pinwheel from scratch um, so in case you don't have a silhouette cameo or dies to make pinwheels this is like super easy all you need is a square piece of paper and it could be any size now this is the paper that I'm using here I'm not sure if I got this from Michaels or Joann's it is 12 by 12 but I only need for this particular project I'm cutting a 4 by 4 inch square out of this so it's pretty much all I'm going to do here is I'm just using my cutter. I'm following the little ruler that goes up and down that the blade slides down um, so that I can just cut down to four inches and then I turn it around and cut the other four. Um, I didn't want to waste the paper and cut all the way down my paper. So that's just what I was doing there. It took me a little while. I was doing this like early in the morning. So again... It could be any size. You could do a 3x3 three three for a really cute small one. Um, if you really want to get tiny, you could do 2x2, two two, but it might be a little more difficult. 6x6, um, six six, I've done many times. It makes a nice large pinwheel. Um, the ones that I'm making now don't, don't work. They're not working pinwheels, so they're just meant for decoration. So, um, yeah. And um, what else? So I'm using this grid mat so that I can pinpoint my middle. And what I'm going to do is, um, that paper is, is uh, single-sided, so it's white on the other side. I don't use that blade there, but I show that you can use it if you need to, if you don't have scissors. Um, I don't know why I pulled it out. But anyway, I'm putting the points along with the lines of the grid. And I'm going to use my ruler and just make a line um two lines to find my center and then i can make a little dot where the center is going to be in that you're going to be making a hole later there and then you're also going to be cutting along those lines so it does help to put lines there just to help you out and get some straight cuts All right, so now I have an X on my paper and I just made a little circle. That's my center and that's where I'll be punching a hole a little bit later. So here I think I'm just simulating that you could use your blade to cut along those lines if you wanted to and just use a metal ruler, but I get my scissors and do that. And when you're gonna cut on the lines, you don't wanna cut all the way to the middle, you just wanna cut um, a little more than halfway down before you get to the circle. You're going to do that four times on each one of those lines that you just made. You see how I didn't go all the way? I left about, I don't know, an inch or so. <clears throat> and then um, once I'm done there, I'm going to pull out a um, hole punch. And it's actually a smaller size hole punch. I don't know what size it is, unfortunately. But it's smaller than a regular hole punch. You know, those large, like, paper punches that we have. It's smaller than that. You don't want such a big hole. And I kind of show you there. It's, it's just a little bit smaller than a regular size hole punch. And I'm going to be punching on the right points there. And I'm going to make a little hole. And I'm going to make it in the same spot on each one of those pieces so you don't if you're gonna do it on the right then make sure that each one each section it's gonna be on the right if you do it on the left and make sure each one is gonna be on the left it doesn't really matter because this is not a working pinwheel um, I would assume that if it is a working pinwheel you have to do it on a certain side which I don't know what side that would be so you can see the holes that I'm making now that doesn't fit I wanted to do the middle, but it won't go in. So this is where I'm going to be breaking out my um, crop dial because I can't get to the middle with that. So I have the crop dial 2, I believe, and it um, has two sizes. I'm using the smallest one to make my hole right in the middle, right where I had marked the center. And I'm just erasing the pencil marks in case it's going to show. And then I decide what side I want to fold over and what's going to be my front. So you'll see me kind of looking at the paper and flipping it around a couple times. 
you just kind of fold one side and see how that looks and then you do it the other way and then you just pick your favorite so I think I go with that and now I'm going to use my pencil to kind of get that going I don't want a flat crease I just want to curl it over my pencil so it's not completely folded over it's just rounded I guess look more like a natural pinwheel and you're doing the points that have the holes in it so the you grab the one with the hole in and you make it go over because those are going to be um, running a brad through and then you're going to connect it to the middle hole so that started now there's my brad and then it's going to go right through you don't want to use big brads you know with the feet that are too wide for this because it'll cut your paper so I'm grabbing each one in order and then I'm going to run it through the center and then just open up the little legs I don't know what do you call those legs feet all right so there it is and later on I don't think I do it on this video or maybe I do I do put a center on that yeah I am going to <clears throat> right now I'm just kind of looking in my stash for some kind of bling center although um oh no I'm sorry I was grabbing the straw um anyway what I do here I actually change the center later on because this is going into a tropical theme loaded pocket so I picked the palm leaf straws out of that box that you just saw those are from Michael's Normally $9.99, but I um, got them while they were 50% off. You get 100 straws, so 50 of each design. Now I'm just going to flatten the top, and it's going to get hot glued to my the back of my pinwheel. And then I'm going to add another piece to the back of that. You'll see, just to finish it off. <clears throat> so there's... A pinwheel wand and then we're just gonna finish I thought I was gonna use one of those pieces but I end up punching a circle I believe let's see what do I do I don't remember <laughs> is that too big I was gonna use one of those cupcake liner rosettes but I said nah so I'm using some scrap paper that I was using and that is from another line which right now I don't know what it's called but it had tropical you know designs on it and then I just used that EK success punch to cut that circle and that is going to cover the back and I use that same paper in my loaded pocket so eventually you'll be seeing everything together And now for the little center part there, I grab a pack from Michael's. I was looking in my stash here for um, one of those, and I decided to go with, I think I went with the that orangey gold one. But again, I take it off later on. You don't see it, um, and I ended up putting a flower in there instead but this does work I just decided to change it up later on so that's pretty much it everyone so stay tuned I will be having the loaded pocket um, reveal soon so that was for a swap and thank you all for watching I'll see you guys next time bye now